Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Modern Indie News, your weekly resource for what's been going on in the Modern Indie communities this week. This episode we take a look at the Beta 2 release of Unreal Tournament 2341, Bagante gets a Kickstarter, The Protectors reaches version 0.8.3, Blaze Mech Forces gets an update, Battle Royale gets released, and Overgrowth gets an alpha update. <laughs> Unreal Tournament 2341 aims to bring the classic UT-99 weapons back into the fray, completely remastered with new high-definition models, particle effects, and animations to bring those weapons beyond the Unreal Tournament 2004 standards. This mod has recently gone into Beta 2, and with it comes a lot of additions. These include a finished bio-rifle with updated particle and handling, teleport and respawn sound effects, finished HUDs, and most important addition, multiplayer support. You can check out the full list of editions and download the mod over on ModDB. Vagante is an action-packed platforming adventure game that features permadeath and procedurally generated levels. This is a game designed for players who like a challenge. The development team has recently announced its Kickstarter, along with a new version. The latest build features local cooperative multiplayer, a new class that uses magic, a new area, new items, spells, rooms, enemies, and much, much more. You can download and play the latest version of this game on IndieDB. The Protectors is a standalone mod for the game Warlords Battlecry 3. It's an improved real-time strategy RPG game with new campaigns, quests, terrain, units, items, heroes, modding features, and more. Recently, the mod has reached version 0.8.3, and with it comes some new features. A small portion of the main campaign has finally been unlocked, allowing players to experience different setups with mortal and immortal heroes. The AI is now smarter and deadlier, and now the mod can be played at 1080p. And that's just a few of the changes. A lot of hard work has been put into this mod, so be sure to check it out over on ModDB. Blaze Mech Forces is a team-based multiplayer game featuring both co-op and PvP gameplay through a top-down viewpoint, with a strong emphasis on team play and character customization. The game has recently received an update. This update introduces some new features to the game, starting with a whole new map and cooperative mode. This is a mission where players from both factions join forces to investigate a dungeon filled with spiders. In this mode, players will choose from five unique classes, the Specialist, the Psionic, the Xenobiologist, the Tech, and the Juggernaut. You can download the latest version of this over on IndieDB and give the game a vote up over on Steam Greenlight. Battle Royale is an extreme survival mod for Arma 3, plunging players into a bloody last man standing game mode with one chance to win. Based on the book slash movie Battle Royale, this mod provides a unique gameplay experience. The rules are simple, there can only be one winner, and everyone else must die. This mod has recently received a full release, so if you're a fan of the Hunger Games or the Battle Royale books, then be sure to check out this mod on ModDB. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Overgrowth is a game that takes place in the savage world of Lagara, where rabbits, wolves, and other animals are forced to use paws, claws, and medieval weaponry to engage each other in battle. Combining third-person adventure platforming and intricate melee combat, the game has received an alpha update with a ton of new features. AI characters can be set to follow other characters, a new wolf variant has been added with tentacle colors, the scale of different characters has been changed, so rats are small and dogs are big, players can attack unconscious characters, kick them around, and there is the usual list of tweaks and bug fixes to make the game run more smoothly. You can check out the latest development over on IndieDB and keep up with the latest features and updates to this game. Well, that's all for Modern Indie News this week. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more gaming and modding goodness, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.